G'day guys, this is Big T. Today I've got the Kyoto Hilux M70 in the workshop. Really lovely car. I'm going to be installing the Rock Armour Bull Bar at the front of the vehicle. So with the M70, it starts from 2005 and the Rock Armour Bull Bar fits all the way up to early 2015. The only difference that you have is just the infills underneath the lights. So when you're purchasing the Bull Bar, just let the um, assistant that's taking your order, just let them know what gear model you have so they can send you out the right infill for the lights. So I'm going to get started now, I've opened up my fitting kit, I've stripped the front of the vehicle. Now this is a really simple and easy fit. So the great thing with the Rock Armour Bull Bar, the cradle comes as one piece. So I've just got my cradle here. So the cradle is just a one piece and it's just going to slide right over the chassis. And I'm going to pick up the two mounting points, factory points on either side. So it just slides under and then lifts up and mounts it in our factory points as so. Really easy fit. So as you see, the cradle sits on really easy. Now the great thing with the Rock Armour cradle, it's just a one piece, so it's a really solid point for when we're winching. So I'm just gonna go through and put on my nuts and bolts on. So in the fitting kit, you're gonna find four long bolts. So just put the, um, the flat washer, and they're just gonna slide through the side of the chassis on either side straight through, and I'm going to pick them up on the inside just with a flat spring nut. I've got a point on the outside and a point on the inside, they're the factory ones. I'm just going to use the factory nuts that came with it, and you can just put those on. Then we have four of the smaller ones, so same thing, flat washer, and you've got a point on the top and the point on the bottom and just put those in as so and pick it up with a flat spring nut on the inside. Then last of all, we have a fine thread. So put your spring and flat and that's going to pick up this point just at the back here. So I've got my bolts in the back there, so really easy. I'll go through it again. So we've got the two factory points on the front there. You've got your nut and bolt top and bottom. And you've got your long bolt straight through the chassis and then we put our fine thread at the back. So I just go through, put everything in hand tight. Now if you're going to be fitting a recovery point, this is the time to do it, and I'll just sit straight at the back there. So I'm just going to go through, tighten up all my nuts and bolts, and then I'm going to be installing my winch. So I've got my winch cradle there, I've got my four mounting points, and I'm just going to go ahead, tighten everything up, get my winch ready, and away we go. Okay, so I've gone through, tightened up all my nuts and bolts, that's all solid there, I've put the winch in place, so you see you've got your four mounting points on the bottom, they line up with the winch, so I've tightened all that up, got that already. So the next step is my wiring. So you'll see inside the bull bar connected is this little wiring harness. So the black is our negative, the white is our parker, and the yellow is our indicator. So I'm just going to tap off into the factory lights there, get that all ready. Now, this vehicle's a SR5, so I'm just going to pick up from the factory fog lights and connect them straight to the fog lights on our bull bar, and then we're ready to put the bull bar on. Okay, so now my winch is all up, cradle's all tight, we're ready to go. So in the fitting kit, you've got six nuts and bolts, 18 mils, so these are going to go in the three mounting points on either side, so they're going to marry up with the bull bar. So I just get those ready. I've got the bull bar ready, it's just going to sit straight on, on top of these points. Just sits there. Now I'm just going to go through and um, put all my nuts and bolts in, but just check and make sure, make sure that you're lined up with your wheel arch before you put your nuts and bolts in because there's two mounting points for this bull bar. One's further in and one's further out. So the further ones to the front of the bull bar, they're for your 05 to 011, and the other set is for the 012 to 2015. Okay, so I put all the nuts and bolts in. Now, just adjust your bull bar. So you've got a nice, even gap right around the guard all the way through your lights there. And I'll put my eyebrows in place. So I leave those also just hand tight. So now I've got it in place. I'm just gonna go through, tighten up the bull bar. And then I'm gonna adjust my eyebrows where I want them to sit and then tighten those up and the bar's finished. All right, so all my nuts and bolts are all tight. The bar's real solid there. I've got a really nice gap right around. 
I've finished off my uh, winch control box and my lights. So now I've tied up my wiring, everything's ready to go. Last piece of the, ch uh, the puzzle is just the batch plates. So there's a three piece batch plate, so you've got your left, your right, and the one in the center. So with your 10 mils, just put the spring and the flat. And the great thing with the Rock Armour Bull Bar is the nut sets are already pre-serted into the bull bar. So it makes it really easy to work with. So just put it in place. And let this go straight in. So I put all three bash plates in the place. Leave the, um, the bolts hand tight until you get them all in. So with my mud flap here, I've just cut the bottom section of the mud flap off. And I'm just gonna fold it in into the bash plate. And I'm just gonna drill and put a 10 mil nut and bolt just to hold it in place. So I just go through, do all that, and then we'll tighten it all up. All right guys, so bash plate's all tightened up, the bar's all on all the wiring's done. So this car's finished. Now let's get upstairs and see how it looks. All right guys, so I've got the highlights out of the workshop. Really nice finish. As you see, it's a complete bumper replacement, which is really, really um, good for when your fitment makes it so much easier. Rock Armour Bull Bars comes down with your 63 mil tubing. It's got the three piece underneath bash plates right across. We have our built-in LED fog lights, indicators, park lights. Overall, it's a really, really good finish, really good looking bar, and you guys are gonna be really happy with it on your vehicles. Thanks for watching another Big T video, and I'll see you guys on the tracks.